Okay, so hi in the part two of this video, and uh, in this we're gonna be setting up the blueprints. So, yeah. Now, what you wanna do first is just insert the plane on a top viewport. Let's scroll down, make segments of one by one. And what you wanna do now is let's get back to the let's get back to a Ford Fiesta and uh, click on the details. Top will be let's check the dimensions. Five six five two by oops. So length will be six. Five two by two nine four two nine four. So there is a top. Now you can't see nothing. That's bad. Right click, smooth and highlights and edge faces, and do that for all three. Okay, so let's zoom out just a little bit, switch off the grid by hitting G. And uh, the reason I'm making this video tutorial is that I never found the proper one. So, what you want to do now, as you can see, is black. You can't really see nothing, so click on perspective view, configure two sides, force two sides, and uh, all viewports. Click OK. As you can see, you will be able to see everything now. Click on a um, click snapping, which will be this one, and click rotate. Now hold shift and just rotate to 90 degrees, and uh, it's gonna copy automatically. So let's do the side one now. Click this button in order to edit, and the side will be 645. 645 by 238 okay let's do that one more time hold shift and rotate okay that's good click OK and uh, that will be a front 298 298 by 236 I believe that's front isn't it yes 236 oops 236 and now what we're gonna do is we only gonna make a front viewport we're not gonna put uh, the end viewport yet because we don't really we're not gonna start modeling the back yet so oh yeah actually let's do that straight away select move tool hold shift and just move oops cancel wrong one hold shift and move it just a little bit just a tiny bit and that will be our back 294 by 239 294 by 239 that's good and you wanna move this one actually let's begin with doing all that now what you wanna do is click M after you've done everything you're gonna get this box select click on here select bitmap and go to the desktop or at least where you saved everything click on desktop in my case Ford Fiesta and top now you can click this one but you will not gonna see anything you have to click show map in viewport click this one and this looks stupid because it's the wrong way I think it's 270 oh 271 now just 270 
a one might now let's do at 90 because a one front of the car to face down okay that's better now the problem is if you look at the map you're gonna see that's very bad quality and uh, well how to fix this if you don't know too much about 3D Max, let's control Z, control Z, and uh, if you don't know too much about the 3D Max, you have to click on Customize Preferences uh, Viewports. And just click, click Configure Driver and select 512 by 1024. Okay, now you're not gonna see any difference until you restart your 3D Max or maybe you will let's try copy this to the new one apply okay replace it and apply it and as you can see it's much better quality so yeah uh, so let's do that let's do the side one click on M again select a empty spear I'm sorry I'm uh, recording this in low resolution so people could see better select the side bitmap click open apply and show in viewport and this looks stupid again so let's select 90 perfect and this would be the best time to start naming it side and the uh, top and uh, let's select in this case it will be the back map we're gonna move them later on because it's uh, backwards right now so select bitmap back open up apply okay what doesn't it apply properly? Okay, there he is. That would be our back of the car. It looks nice. Oops. It's back. And uh, I'm uh, got the mouse scrolling wheel. I just holding Alt and just clicking the middle button in the mouse and I turning around in view uh, let's select M again and this will be the front okay we nearly finished select front open up apply and 90 degrees there yes it looks nice very everything is very good let's switch off the snapping and let's move this one to the front and um, now we have to align them so yeah this might take a little bit of patience I don't know why but edge faces got deselected for some reason and what I like to do is just uh, select all of them and uh, click on the black and uh, now as you see these are in black <sighs> sorry about the length of this video but I really can't really do nothing now um, that's about all in the next video I'm gonna be showing you how to align them properly so you can start modeling in the next video we're gonna start we're gonna start modeling so if you liked it please rate subscribe and uh, see you in the next video